The Bible says in Isaiah 32, 5, that there will come a day when the vile person shall no more be called liberal, nor the churl said to be bountiful. You see, there's a group of people who call themselves liberal, who are known as liberal, but really they're just vile. Behind every liberal is a vile person. You see, the word liberal is actually means generous, biblically speaking. But of course, it's been adopted, hijacked by the left, they call themselves liberal, they're known as liberal, but really they're just vile. That's exactly what's happening right now. Uh, it's heard lately that the Supreme Court of the United States is set to overturn uh, Roe v. Wade, one of their previous uh, rulings, which uh, effectively legalized baby murder, abortion. And of course, uh, their, their rationale... Back when they ruled this way, the court said that it was because of uh, the right to privacy means that you can murder, a woman can murder her baby in the womb. Yeah, that's, that's some expert uh, uh, legal scholarship right there. <laughs> well, it's a garbage legal decision by any stretch of the imagination and... Just from a strictly legal standpoint, it should be overturned. But that's saying nothing of the moral implications of that. Telling women they can they can murder their babies if they don't want them. It's a great evil. The Bible says the Lord hates hands that shed innocent blood. There's nothing more innocent than a baby in, in the womb. And, of course, the left are becoming increasingly unhinged as we speak, uh, as their unholy sacrament of abortion is being uh, uh, tampered with, per se. <laughs> and, um, I mean, no kidding, they, they genuinely love it. And, um, of course... It's all in the name of choice, right? People who are pro-baby murder will, will mask it by saying, well, I'm just pro-choice. I'm pro... No, you're not. No, you're not. Because the left are a bunch of authoritarian control freaks in every single other aspect. Think about it. They're not pro-choice on whether or not you want to own a firearm where you want to send your kids to school, how you want them to be educated, whether or not you want to be vaccinated. They're not pro-choice on any of that. The only thing they're pro-choice on is the, the supposed right to murder unborn babies. They're not pro-choice. They're not for personal freedom. They're pro-death and destruction. And really, I mean, it, it's the hypocrisy, the, the contradiction of it all. Um... You know, they had the whole bodily autonomy argument, you know, my body, my choice, which that was never a valid argument because, of course, it's not your body. It's someone else's body uh, that you're killing. If it were your body, uh, as far as abortion is concerned, you'd be the one that gets killed. But no, it's your baby that gets killed. So it's not your body. That's a false uh, statement. But... You know, that it, it rings especially hollow after you've literally spent the past two years trying to forcibly vaccinate the world. You don't believe in my body, my choice. Hypocrite, liar. And what, what, what other argument do they say? Oh, they say, well, you're, you're just a man, Dave. You can't have an opinion on abortion. You, uh, you're a man. You don't have the right to have any opinion on this issue. It's a women's issue. You're a man. End of story. Oh, oh, really? Well, now the the new leftist dogma states that men can get pregnant. Yes, yes. The 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 uh, party of science, science falsely so called, literally teaches that men can get pregnant. 
that math is racist, that inflation is a good thing. I mean, this is just clown world that we're living in. But it makes sense when you read the Bible and realize that behind every liberal is a vile person. And of course, the uh, those in the quote-unquote religious world are up in arms about this as well. Uh, I'm, I'm not on Twitter, but I've seen things that people have shared that uh, these uh, Jewish rabbis, synagogue of Satan is what they are, are, are uh, demanding that Roe v. Wade be upheld because they say that abortion is part of their religion. It's part of their... Um, uh, religious system, and so they see it as freedom of religion. Yeah, I, I, I know. I know that that's a, a bedrock tenet of your religion, murdering babies. Ever since you were you were causing your children to pass through the fire under Molech. That's what it's been all about. That's, that's a core tenet of your religion, is death and murdering babies and hating Christ. That's, that's Judaism, in a nutshell. And so, in conclusion, abortion is murder. The same as any other. And if it gets overturned, hallelujah, the world's still pretty bad, but even so, come Lord Jesus. Jesus.